Hello guys, let's talk about translations and automatic capitalizations of those translations. So recently this tweet went pretty viral with 100 likes and I want to demonstrate that in this video. For example, you have name here on the top right of Laravel Breeze actually, we'll zoom that in, but you want to change that to two things. First, add the word welcome and then make sure that the name of the person is capitalized, the first capital letter, even if they registered with small letter. So for example, if I re-register with some name and make it a small letter like this one, I register and it is small here, not ideal, right? So let's transform that auth username with translations into multi-language. Of course, we could do welcome comma and then do uc first here so that would be without any translations we refresh and this is what we need to see what we expect to see but it's not multi-language first let's translate this part one of the ways for translations of static text is to create a json file with the language so new file lang slash en dot json for the language and then that JSON should return key value pairs. So welcome would be welcome like this. Or to make it clear, let's make the key lowercase and then we replace this with underscore underscore welcome. Now, if I refresh the page, it shouldn't change anything. It's still welcome. And as a proof that it actually works, let's change that to this for example and then it appears here so now we're using the translations that's the first step and now let's make that name as a parameter of that translation so it would be automatically capitalized so let's put that comma inside in here so welcome comma and then we can provide a parameter of name for example and then that name with the colon can be passed like this parameter name and then value here so we just provide auth user name and we can do that with uc first but we don't need to do that and i will show you why in a second and then we don't need any comma here like this this becomes a parameter and now if we refresh it still works but it doesn't capitalize the letter now the thing that i've shown on twitter is that you can capitalize the translations in the translation files inside so if you do the first name of the parameter uppercase it would automatically capitalize the letter here like this although the parameter has lowercase letters and not only that if you put all letters in caps like this we refresh and we have all letters capitalized and i thought does it work only with english language I tried to change the name into my Lithuanian name with some weird characters and let's change the active language to Lithuanian. For example, let's do file save as to lt.json for Lithuanian language. Then we change that welcome text to Lithuanian called Labas. This is hello in Lithuania. And let's put that name auto capitalized like this. Also change the en version to this and then we can specify the active language. Of course, in real life projects, it would probably be chosen by the user, but globally in Laravel and specifically in Laravel 11, it is set in .env file with app locale en by default. But if we change that to LT, first we refresh in general and we have Labas here, which means that we're using Lithuanian language. But now if we change the name to something that contains Lithuanian characters, this is the name in Lithuanian and will it be capitalized? Let's see, we save and it does work. It does capitalize the A letter with that weird thing underneath. So yeah, kind of a quick tip on Twitter, but expand it with demonstration of how translations work in general for these simple cases and how to auto capitalize that in the translation files, whether they are PHP files or JSON as in my example shown just before. And if you work with multi-language projects or planning to work on those, I can offer, suggest one of my courses in Laravel Dailycom. So we created multi-language Laravel course, combining the knowledge about translation of static texts, switching between languages, and then talking about various packages. And also the next part of translations is dynamic things, translating of database values, which is also described and discussed in this course. I will put the link to that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.